If I had to describe Derek Carr and the New England Saints in one word, it would probably be underwhelming. The Saints brought in Derek Carr so he could help them be a more dominant and complete team. The Saints had Andy Dolan last year, so obviously Carr would be an improvement, is what everyone believed. But to be honest, Derek Carr hasn't been as good as everyone initially thought. At times he has been really good, and other times really bad. He just hasn't stayed at a consistent level. The Saints are 7-7 right now with the easiest schedule in the entire league, and they still haven't had one convincing win. Of course, the first thing everyone looks at is the quarterback. So in this video, I want to take a step back and answer the question, how has Derek Carr played this season? And does he deserve all the hate that he's getting? But he really consistently stopped that play. Exactly. The fans here are booing. Before I talk about Derek Carr himself, I want to talk about two things. First off, his supporting cast. The Saints have really good offensive weapons. The wide receiver trio Carr has, or had, is really strong. His wide receiver one is Chris Olave, and I'm not gonna lie, Olave is a top 10 wide receiver in the league. Last year, Olave was supposed to win Offensive Rookie of the Year, but he barely lost it. This year, you can tell Olave has been in the lab. He's been making all these crazy contested catches, and he's still an elite route runner. Carr's wide receiver 2 is Michael Thomas, who as we all know, is a really good receiver. And his wide receiver 3 is a deep threat Rashid Shahid that always gets open with his speed. And finally, he also has Alvin Kamara, an already proven elite running back. The only thing missing on that offense is the O-line. The O-line has improved greatly from the beginning of the season where they were giving up like 4 sacks a game, but they still have a lot to improve on. And that sucks a lot, because when Derek Carr is under pressure versus when he isn't is a massive difference. Like night and day type difference. When he's under pressure, he's really bad. Well, most people are, but it's just a little more for Carr. He has good weapons, no doubt. He could improve with a better O-line, but to be honest, a good O-line is a blessing in the NFL, and not many quarterbacks have it. But one thing that Carr does have is a good defense that forces turnovers and gives them more opportunities. The one main excuse you can give Derek Carr is that the Saints coaching staff is pretty bad. I feel like a lot of teams have that problem, but yeah, the Saints coaching staff isn't great. Specifically, the offensive coordinator, Pete Carmichael. Derek Carr has always been known for his red zone struggles, and that only got worse once he got to the Saints. Pete Carmichael's play calling is really questionable, but his red zone play calling for the most part has been really, really bad. But I do have to give credit where credit is due. Pete Carmichael has gotten better compared to the beginning of the season, but still, the offensive play calling isn't great, and that affects quarterback play. But let's go on to Derek Carr. Derek Carr was signed to the Saints on a four-year, $150 million contract. He was brought in to be the franchise quarterback of the Saints. Last year, the Saints had Andy Dalton at quarterback, and they ended with a record of 7-10. All Carr had to do was be better than Andy Dalton, and he has, but not by much. The truth is, Carr has been very underwhelming. Despite having great weapons in Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, Shahid, and Kamara, and being almost 15 weeks in, they still haven't clicked. Carr and the Saints offense can't drive down the field, and they have been doing it pretty consistently these last few weeks. But when they get to the red zone, they completely fall apart. But a lot of that falls on both play calling and quarterback play. As the play calling has been getting better, there have been more opportunities for big plays. But sometimes, Carr just makes some really questionable choices. Choices. Carr's awareness is very bad. When pressure comes into the pocket, he always gets sacked. You almost never see Carr scramble, even though he can and his footwork is horrible. Something to keep in mind is Carr's injuries. Derek Carr this entire season has gotten injured again and again. Sometimes you can't help but just feel bad for the man. Shoulder injuries, rib injuries, all sorts of injuries. It's possible that injuries could be another factor for Carr's lack of production but it's still not an excuse. I do want to point out this though. I really respect that Carr keeps playing through the pain. It shows that he truly does care about the team even if he does get mad a lot. But Carr's performance isn't the only problem. If you've been in tune with the Saints or Derek Carr if you're a Raiders fan, you've probably seen all the yelling and frustration that Carr has had with the team. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on! I hit one now. And even the media. As a result, there has been so much hate for Derek Carr this season, it's crazy. Recently, Carr has even been booed onto and off the field. Many times this season, you saw Derek Carr arguing with Olave and even Eric McCoy, his lineman. That's something you never want to do as a quarterback, starting beef with the people who protect you. The problems and the yelling have been a big reason why Carr is so disliked, possibly even hated. The whole conversation about Derek Carr has completely split the Saints community into people who are avid defenders and people who really dislike Carr. I'll admit, I was on both of these sides at one point, but as I've taken a step back, 
I realized that Carr has just been pretty average. Carr was signed in on a four-year deal. The team is locked in on him. Whether people want the Saints to tank or not really doesn't matter because they're not going to. The only thing that would probably change, if anything, is the coaching staff. But not everything is bad. The Saints seem to be going on an upward trend. Derek Carr just recently had his best game of the season against the Giants, where he completed 23 out of 28 attempts for 3 touchdowns and 218 yards. The whole Saints team is getting better and they're still finding even more great players on our team. The Saints have hit rock bottom this season. The only way from here is up. I hope Derek Carr gets better because for better or for worse, he's a Saints quarterback, at least for a while. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. What do y'all think about Carr? Has he been good, bad, average? Let me know what y'all think. Anyways, have a good day and peace.